In this video, I want to try to provide some real basic options as far as getting set up to work with UV texturing and preparing to make UV edits. Now, the first option is, is normally you can go into the shading to work with the material nodes. Now, however, it is just that you're working with straight materials and 2D elements. But one thing if you are interested that you can do is down here in the lower left hand corner of the shading options here. What is currently active here is your image editor here. Now, if you wanted to, you can actually click on the drop down arrow here. And what's nice about Blender is you're able to come in and have multiple editing options and multiple windows open simultaneously that you can pick between. So for instance here, maybe I still, before I click on that, I want to still have my navigation up here as far as all of my different options for uh, different file types, or maybe I need to find where I put specific texture materials, etc. So I can still keep that, but come down here and click on the drop down arrow next to the texture or the image editor and switch over to UV editor. Now this is something here, I'll go ahead and actually pull this up a little and pull this over just so I have a little bit extra space. This can be a little bit misleading because while I may have turned on the UV editor, I am still in the object mode of the workflow within my Blender environment. To change this to actually be able to see down here in the corner, there's a drop down menu under object mode that I wanna change into edit mode. And when you do that, I'm going to use my middle mouse wheel to scroll in. You can now see that I can actually preview and see the UV unmapping. As a reminder, with most 3D programs, the basic prims are going to have a UV map already set up for them. Now also too, if I keep extending out here, I can see different types of options as far as along the top here regarding textures and things like that if I wanted to work with it. On the flip side though, let's say that maybe you're making your own UV map, that you're actually looking to take the UV map and export it out here. And you're not really concerned right now about being able to navigate through your uh, folder structures. Up along the top here, as far as the different layout tabs, you do have a UV editing option here, which does away with that area and also the material nodes and makes us a lot larger for us. So I'm using that middle mouse wheel and notice I'm still in the edit mode so that I can actually see my UV map. So these are two different ways as far as coming in and working with a UV editor. So for instance, let's go ahead here and let's say I go back into object mode and notice how the UV map disappears. And maybe instead I delete out and I'd like to add a different mesh and let's say I add in a cylinder. Now, once again, if I go into edit mode, you can see how Blender has already preemptively laid out and pulled apart your cylinder for you. Those are some of the basics as far as navigating the interface to work inside of Blender.